Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logic. This is a sort integer by the number of one bit. It is a lead code easy and the number for this is 1356. So in this problem we are given with an integer array and we have to sort the given elements of the integer array in the ascending order of the number of ones in their binary representation. And in case of two or more integers uh, which have same number of ones we have to sort them as we usually do. So let's take an example. So here is an example sample example one. So 0 has actually 0 ones, 1 has 1, 2 has 1, 3 has 2, 4 has 1, 5 has 2 ones in the binary representation, 6 has also 2, 7 actually has 3 and 8 has 1. So you can see the order is in the form uh, 0 comes first because it has 0 ones, 1, 2 and 4 have uh, 1. 1 0 and 1 double 0 as their representation so all three have uh, actually an 8 also uh, all the four have uh, actually one bit so they they come uh, one after other 3 5 and 6 have uh, actually two being ones in their representation for 3 it is 1 1 for 5 it is 1 0 1 and for 6 it is 1 1 0 and for 7 it is 1 1 1 so 7 has three bits so it comes at the last so for this uh, the intuition of the problem is that we can uh, create another array which will be used to store the number of uh, ones in each of the in uh, each of the elements and then we can multiply with this by a larger number and uh, add it along with the original array original array element and then we can sort it and after sorting we can just uh, remove the large factor which we have added to the solution but uh, for that we need to write a function which is used to count the number of uh, ones in the uh, binary representation format so for this we can use something as the return type will be int let's say count bit and we can give n Yes, will be unit Now we'll until unless n becomes zero, we'll uh, try to shift it to the left hand side. I'm I, so I'm sorry, right hand side till it becomes zero, and uh, we'll count actually the number of ones which occur. So you can write it as n and one. You can also write it as like uh, if n and 1 is uh, equal equal to 1, then you can add rest, do rest, rest plus plus. Otherwise, you can write this simply because n and 1 will be if the current bit is not uh, 1, so n and 1 will be 0, and if the bit is 1, so the n and 1 will be 1, so it doesn't matter, you can write it anyways. Then, shiftly, uh, then simply shift the n to left by one term and uh, return rest so we have written the counting bit function now we need to write the uh, actual implementation so for that we will take a array of result and uh, we can take it of the side return and then we will iterate through the entire loop entire uh, array uh, then we will store the rest of i equal to count bit and we will give the number arr of i uh, and then we need to multiply it with a very large number and let me see the constraint so the constraint is actually 10 raised to the power 4 so we will take 1 greater than 10 raised to the power 4 and uh, we will also add uh, the original number to this because in case uh, both the both the numbers have the uh, same number of uh, bits so this will be the deciding factor in that case 
and then we simply do the sorting arrays dot sort less and now you have to remove this factor which you have added so for this we can do what we can do is that a heads traverse to this rest array and then we'll do rest of i equal to uh, rest of i mod the number so we can write it in the shorthand representation mod equal to 1 10 raised to the power 4 plus 1 and uh, then we can get uh, less yeah. no, this was my solution let's try to run it okay this passes on the sample test cases Let's go for the total test cases. We are accepted. The solution is accepted with a good runtime and a good memory. You can take a screenshot of the code if you want. And please, guys, do like my video. Please do share with your friends. Do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day. Come back tomorrow. To for another new video. Thank you for watching the video.